Hi, I'm Barbie. Hey my harmonies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Symphony and in today's video, I'm going to be getting ready to see the Barbie movie. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this moment for the past year, year and a half. Whenever I seen that little clip on Twitter when Barbie was at Venice Beach, right then and there, I knew that I needed to be prepared for this movie. And the look that I went for was more of a 90s, early 2000s Barbie, like my era type of Barbie. And I think I nailed it, but you know, this Barbie had to pull out the fro. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this movie. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to see the movie or if you already did. Let me know what you think about it. I am going to be inserting a vlog towards the end of this video. So with all of that being said, let's get started with this video. just feel very very girly right now i guess i'm already girly but doing all of this extra girly stuff yeah i feel very much in my barbie era right now first thing i need to do is put some vaseline on my lips then barbie's hands wouldn't feel ashy or look ashy either so oh yeah these are my nails i did them pretty basic i didn't want to put any fake nails on because i needed to give my nails a break i am going to be taking some baby lotion because it's pink and most of the items that i'm going to be using in this video are going to be pink i had already done my eyebrows just to save some time but now I had put all of the makeup that I'm going to be using in this video in this Sephora bag and ugh, just a lot in here and I didn't realize that I put so much in here. And in the bag, I did, <laughs> I did put some Barbie tissues in here because I do wipe my nose often whenever I'm doing my makeup. So having these Barbie tissues really match the theme that's going on. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Roxysaurus Ride or Die palette. And you can get this palette off of Amazon too. I got mine at TJ Maxx, I believe. But I did find it on Amazon if you guys really want this palette. These colors in here are very, very pretty see all that pink like i'm super excited to prime my eyelid i am going to be taking my elf 16 hour camo concealer and this is like one of my favorite concealers Ooh. yeah this is one of my favorite concealers ever it's so pigmented and it is a tart shape tape dupe then i'm going to be taking my one size translucent powder and just put it all over my eyelid so the concealer does not crease The first colors I'm going to be taking is Cookie and Gingerbread. I may take Gingerbread, but mainly I'm going to be taking this shade Cookie. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M441 Blending Brush. Tap it right here. And just blend it out like that. With my little history with Barbie, I've had all of the Barbie dolls growing up. And not even with Barbie either, with Bratz, My Scenes. Do you guys remember My Scenes? Um, they weren't really that popular. I mean, they were popular, but they didn't last for too long. Like how Bratz and Barbie did, or at least Bratz. So this movie right here, it's really for the girls that really, you know, loved dolls. I'm gonna dress them up and play with them all the time because besides like having like little video games and stuff i would mainly play with my barbie dolls and i would get so sad when nobody would want to play barbie with me everybody wants to like play on the wii or play on like the playstation i mean don't get me wrong i played on the playstation too but when i was in a barbie mood or in a doll mood nobody would want to play with me i've been blending this out for the longest time now i think i'm gonna take inspire first and just put it <gasps> duh, oh my gosh i should have been did that <gasps> yep mm -hmm. and put inspire right here oh this is gonna look so cute but yeah pretty much i do have a really good history with barbie and 
I'm just beyond excited to see the movie. And with their whole like promotion with the Barbie movie right now is so good. Like they have so many little different merches, collaborations with different stores. Now I'm going to be taking a unicorn. See, these are all cute Barbie names like Inspire, Cookie, and Unicorn. And it's just this sparkly pink color right here. I could take Sunset. Maybe Sunset and... Okay, I'm gonna try to do both. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I'm gonna do both. Okay, so I'm gonna take that much. Okay, I think that's well. Let me tell you what I'm wearing right now. So to get ready, I decided to put on my Juicy Couture pajama top because it was supposed to be a set. But if you guys see my TikTok, then you guys already know. But I thought it would match so perfectly with me getting ready because I'm sure Barbie would wear something like this, especially in the 90s or something. But yeah, I'm loving how my eyeshadow is turning out. Now it's time to do the face. And first, I'm going to be taking my milk. Wait, uh -uh, nope, I'm not doing that. I forgot that I wanted to use my Clinique Moisture Surge Auto Replenishing Hydrator. And I had got this on my birthday last year, I think. Or when did I get this? Honestly, I have no idea. I like how this moisturizer is not too thick. Kind of has like a watery base to it in a way, but it's still really moisturizing and I don't want nothing too heavy on my face. Like with moisturizers, because sometimes during the summer it can clog up my pores. Sometimes, it really depends. Next, I'm going to be taking my new Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I just want to thank Milk Makeup for sending me this. They had also sent me different other makeup products. I've always heard about this and I always want to try it out. So thank you guys again for sending me this. And I'm going to take this much. And if you guys love Barbie like how I do, let me know in the comments if you guys have any special memories with her. One of my special memories, <laughs> like I have many different special memories, but this one just popped up in my head. I had a black Ken doll or I don't even know if he was a Ken. I, I don't know his name. All I know is that he was black and he was part of the Barbie collection. And he had like a little, <laughs> he had like a little fro and <laughs> I think I was trying to give him waves or something <laughs> and I was cutting his hair. And then I realized like his hair wasn't turning into waves. So he had like a smaller little fro instead of like a bigger looking fro. But he didn't look ugly. I'm glad I didn't make him look crazy or anything. Now I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I really want to try out the liquid one or the one that's in the tube. But I heard that one is not as thick like how this one is thick. So I don't know. I might try it. I might not. I really do not know yet. I need a color correct using my LA Girl Pro Conceal color corrector in the shade Peach. This is one of my favorite color correctors. Now I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer because I think Barbie would use this concealer because of the packaging and the design of how the foundation bottle is. And this color may be a little bit too dark on me, just a little bit. I am going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Coverage White Foundation and just add a tiny dot because this stuff is pigmented. I'm gonna use my Paw Paw Wonder Sponge. I got it from Amazon. Came in a pack of six for under $10 and I've been using these sponges for the past year or two. And I really, really love them. Ooh, okay, so I have another Barbie story time. So when I was little, I didn't really grow up with much. Like, yes, I was still spoiled, 
like to a certain extent not to the point where i like okay if i see it i can get it asap i remember at one point i really wanted a barbie house or a house for my dolls so i remember using paper because i don't even know like my dad found a lot of paper i remember and it was like stacks of paper like this much paper i don't know where how what but he had paper i remember using that paper to make little arts and crafts and like just make stuff out of that paper i remember making a house for my barbies out of this paper and i just remember gluing the papers like this into like a house and i'll like make it a one floor house i'll make a really long house and if i want the house to be a little bit taller i can just glue the paper onto this paper and the house will be taller and i guess my mom seen me doing that and i'll show her like the house that i built with the paper and i'll actually draw like little things on the paper like a couch or windows inside the house or outside the house honestly i don't even remember i think i was like six or seven years old when i did this and i remember having this mini brat salon so i would use some of the salon equipment and put it in the barbie paper house and i'll just be like very creative like that i don't know how long i did it for but i do remember doing it for a while okay hold on let me finish my foundation then i forgot to add some color corrector to my under eyes what the heck i never ever forget to do that what the heck since i'm like multitasking right now it's like my mind's all over the place okay like i was saying i don't know how long i did that for but i'm glad that happened because that was like one of the situations that helped me be more creative like i had many different situations in my life growing up to where like i had to be creative but eventually christmas time i do remember telling my mom and circling in the toys r us magazine that i wanted this barbie dream house and i'll try to insert a picture of what it looks like because <laughs> i still have that house and best believe i'm gonna pass it on to somebody i don't know if i want kids honestly but i'm gonna pass it on to somebody like that barbie dream house i love this so much like even when i moved here i remember having this barbie dream house right here where this book stand is i remember having it right here and i remember having my little mini school desk right here and i remember having this small chair over there and you know like i've been living here for so long but yeah like that barbie dream house means a lot or has meant a lot to me for a really long time you know getting it as a kid it was like like i was so in shock and there'll be times honestly i'll play with it off and on because you know how kids can be they'll play with it for a week then leave it alone then they'll go back into that phase and start playing with it again yep that was me so yeah that is a little story time of how i used to make houses out of paper for my dolls then i eventually got a barbie dream house yeah i'll talk to you guys once i have my contour ready and i'm about to bake because i really want this makeup to look perfect and i didn't realize that it would be so hard for me to multitask like this with talking because usually i do not talk when i do my makeup i did use my lancome tint idol ultra wear concealer they did send this to me thank you lancome for sending me this because it really helps bronze and contours my face and i think i'm gonna use a little bit more because i love having a bronzy oops used too much i love having a bronzy contour look i'm going to be using my she glam liquid blush in the shade love cake and this is definitely one of my favorite blushes or favorite liquid blushes to use because it's so pretty and pink and the powder i'm going to be using first is this lmf or umf baking powder and i had got this off of Timo. This is in the shade 02, but I had got this off of Timo, and this is a Givenchy dupe, because if you guys don't know, Givenchy has a powder just like this. And then for the powder puff, oh my gosh, everything is so cute. It's this heart-shaped one that I had got off of Shein or Timo. Both of them sell these, but I decided to use this one, and actually I have a hot pink one. 
should have used that one but you know whatever and this type of powder color is very trendy right <coughs> is very trendy right now and i was like you know what let me just use it for the sake of this video and since i'm using pink everything almost you know might as well now it's time to bronze up my face and i'm going to be taking my i love revolution palette and it's a contour or bronzer and highlight palette Back to the eyeshadow, I am going to be taking this highlight color right here and I'm just going to be highlighting this area in the inner corner. Take this brush and just put it right here. Yeah, I definitely added too much bronzer with this makeup look, but I'm going to still make it work. I'm going to add a little bit of yes right here onto my eyelid just a little bit just to add a pop of brightness just a little bit then i'm taking my juvia's place liquid highlighter for the blush i'm going to be taking my she glam love dive powdered blush in the shade don't pink twice this is how she looks I'm going to be taking this oh and it's pigmented wow okay let me just add oh this is oh this is so pigmented okay but i'm so excited to show you guys which outfit i'm going to wear i've been planning this outfit for the past year now or almost a year and i think i found the perfect outfit to see the barbie movie it's comfortable but yet still very dressy i think i want to go in with inspire again and just put it right here yeah i'm gonna do that because it was looking too plain underneath before i do anything else i want to melt all my makeup together so i'm going to be taking my next bear with me prime set and refresh spray and just wait do i want to do anything else do i want to do anything else okay i think not so i'm just gonna spray this I did my eyeliner and I had put my lashes on. The lashes I had used is the Jovia's Place Nubian Lash in the style Egypt. And this is how the box looks. I didn't want the lashes to be too long or too thick because sometimes my hair can just grab onto the lash then my lash will start sagging. Hopefully it doesn't do that with these ones. They're not too long. Actually, I might go in with my pretty little thing and Emrazy collab because Emrazy is a Barb doll herself. So I might use this one instead. But I think she don't sell these anymore on Pretty Little Thing. But if you guys don't have this, then I recommend using the next lip liner in the shade London. Next, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay 
liquid lip color in the shade cuffed up and this is a beautiful beautiful pink it's like a bubblegum pink and i'm just put some right here it's really pigmented so i'll go in with that much mm -hmm. very pigmented and i think barbie would approve of this lip combo but lastly we're gonna go in with a gloss and this is in the shade flower blossom it's by essence and i'm just gonna add this on top because i want my lips to be like a light pink We're gonna add my favorite setting spray and it's the NYX All Nighter Setting Spray. This lasts for a while. Then for the final last item, I'm going to be taking my Diabla Setting Spray and just add two sprays on my face so I can have that nice glow. Well, not too much of a glow, but just to make my makeup look like skin. Two sprays like that. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, then you should because I always post on there. It's just beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos like this, but in a short version. And most of the little clips that I do have on TikTok, I do not post on here. So if you guys want to see my TikToks, then make sure you guys follow me on there. Now for the earrings. I think I'm gonna go in with these earrings that were sent to me. It's from the brand Tinny Lux. These are how the earrings look. These are so pretty and they're gonna match perfectly with my outfit. These are so cute and these will not irritate your ears. These are perfect for sensitive ears. My ears can get sensitive sometimes. Okay, now I'm gonna fix my hair because it's looking too frizzy right here. Yeah, no, so I'm gonna take my Rizos Curls curl defining mousse they just came out with this recently and this smells so good wet this part first and so wet it a little bit and i think this part's fine i'm gonna have a little bit of water right here add about that much and this smells so good it's very lightweight and defining and I think it'll be perfect for this look. But I'm gonna show you guys the outfit that I'm wearing in a second i'm gonna do some more tiktok videos but these are how the earrings look and then the necklace now i have to figure out which fragrance i want to wear and i need to wear something that's pink so i need to figure that out still but this is how everything's looking so far okay so the audio may not be that good right now but i am in a rush but i want to show you guys everything that i have on this is my outfit this is the top that i have on i had got it from amazon i had got this skirt from jerly she it came as a set the purse i think i want to wear is this one it's more of a peachy light pink Color. This is the only pink purse that I have right now and it's spacious. It's from Teddy Blake and I do have a discount code with them. I'll leave it right here on the screen. It's really nice and I've been wearing this bag all summer. I think I'm going to do a what's in my bag video when I come back. I'm going to use my Safa Rose Oil Moisturizer for my legs because they are so ashy right now. The other lotion that I'm going to use is the Get Showy Body Cream and it's from Maylie's. And the main reason why I want to wear it because it's pink inside. Then for the pink perfume, I decided that I'm going to wear my Lancome 
perfume for the phone case i decided that i'm gonna wear this one got it from shein i did a whole video of many cute phone cases girly luxury bougie phone cases that i had found from shein so these are the sandals i'm gonna wear i did add a little bit of glitter which was this and this and i put it all over here okay so let me just hurry up and leave and i'll just see you guys when i am at the movies This man just asked me what did I use for my skin. He was obviously trying to sell me something. And I'm like, I use makeup. <laughs> I use makeup to keep my skin looking nice. I went to Claire's and picked up some Barbie merch. And, oh my gosh. Now I'm getting out of breath while I'm walking. But I'm also trying to be careful because my skirt is pretty short. And I don't want it rising up. So I'm trying to like be careful and not like do too much with my legs if that makes any sense right now i'm finally heading to the movies and i did a tiktok of me picking out some barbie merch so yeah that video should be up already or if it's not then hi i know thank you <sighs> stay trying to sell something you know i'm not trying to knock their hustle but anyway what are some nice shoes over here buy one get one for ten dollars okay let me see this you know, I like shoes. Um, they have some really pretty sparkly shoes over here. Ooh, these are nice. Right up my alley. These are cute too. No freaking way. These are cute. And these two, they look like designer dupes. I forgot what brand. Same thing with these two. Very cute. Then they have some really cute sparkly sandals. Mm. These are nice. I have these. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Okay, so now I'm ready to see the Barbie movie. I just looked around like three different places and I think it starts in like 10 minutes. So let me hurry up and get to it. They really got me walking up these stairs because the freaking elevators are still broken or one of them is still broken. Thank God nobody is behind me. <laughs> this is a workout, I'm literally working out. Okay, thank you. Is there any Barbie merch? Come over here. Okay, so I just came back from seeing the Barbie movie and honestly I rate that whole movie a 10 out of 10 um, I kind of want to say 9 because the ending of it wasn't really my favorite I was expecting a little bit more with the merch I didn't find any merch at the movie theaters apparently they sold out super fast but I was able to find some merch or a little bit more merch at Claire's so I was able to find this one item because they only had this left and like some notebooks and pens and just little stuff like that and this was $20 and honestly I'm not that surprised but then again I am because I was expecting it to be 50 because it is Claire's Claire's is known to be like a little bit pricey but for this to be $20 I think that was like a decent deal from Claire's it's really cute and pretty it says Barbie then it has rhinestones all over it like that and with this straw it did come in hot pink but I just changed it to this heart straw that I got from Timo I'm just really happy that I was able to do this and I pretty much took myself out on a little date I took my time to get ready I wasn't in a rush and I just enjoyed watching this movie that meant a lot to me in my childhood I look so exhausted and my lash keeps slanting down because my hair is in the way but <laughs> I love you guys so much and God bless you all in Jesus name and I'll see you guys on our next video.